So this here is one of my latest 3D printed instruments. You can see it's a pan flute. This little eight tubed pan flute is inspired by this much larger Ecuadorian pan flute called the Rondador. This is in the sense that it's inspired by the Rondador is mostly in the scale of the tubes. You can see the tubes are pretty uh, narrow in terms of their length compared to other types of pan flutes, which have thicker tubes. Uh, pan flutes everywhere. So this Rondador inspired pan flute was printed with a, a Form Labs Form 3 printer using draft resin, which is really useful for my purposes as an instrument maker because I can do, I can print a flute like this. You know, it's, it's not huge, but it's, you know, it's a good bit of plastic there. Um, good bit of resin, polymer, whatever you want to talk it. It feels like plastic. Um, feels kind of like PLA or ABS if you've done extrusion printing. Um, but the good thing about this is that in just a couple of hours, I was able to print this. And all I had to do was plug the holes in the bottom. I just put some, uh, some, uh, glue and some foam in there and adjusted the tuning. So, um, for me, the main advantage of the draft resin is that it's quick. You know, in a couple hours, I can print this and get a sense of, of the scale and the playability so that um, for my next print, I can use a different type of resin that will have a higher uh, resolution and I might put some surface decoration on it. Um, and most importantly, what I'm exploring is uh, some plugs, some movable plugs that I can 3D print with different types of materials, also on the Form Labs compute, uh, Form Labs printer, and then turn these and pretty much any tubes, any pan flutes, into tunable instruments. want to get a sense of what it sounds like compared to uh, Ecuadorian. This one is made out of uh, a type of reed similar to bamboo.
there's some similarity in in the timbre and the character of the sound but the the tuning is much different 